Can you have more than one Wi-Fi extender on your network? Can you connect one Wi-Fi extender to another? You have a whole bunch of Wi-Fi questions and I've got a whole bunch of answers. Let's talk about one of the most common Wi-Fi gadgets that are out there, which is this little guy, the Wi-Fi extender. In a previous video, I spoke about the difference between a Wi-Fi extender and a Wi-Fi repeater, which I will link down below if you haven't seen that. So today I wanna answer some of your most common Wi-Fi extender questions you have or you didn't know that you needed to know. First question, can you connect any Wi-Fi repeater to any router or does it have to be the exact same brand? I get this question a lot. There are those people who use the modem and the router that come from your ISP and there are those who go out and buy their own router. Now, you want to get an extender, so you're wondering if you've got a Netgear router, do you need a Netgear extender? The answer is no. Wi-Fi extenders are pretty universal. They work with picking up the Wi-Fi signal so they don't really care who or what transmits it. Now, there is an advantage of getting the same brand of equipment because typically they have a management app or some software that allows you to manage all your devices from a single interface. Question number two, can you have more than one Wi-Fi repeater on the same network? Yes, you can. You can have a router in the center of your house and then on your left you have an extender that boosts the signals to that section of the house and then you can have another Wi-Fi extender on the right side of the house and that boosts the signal over there. So absolutely no problem having multiple Wi-Fi extenders on the same network. Question number three, can you connect one Wi-Fi repeater to the another Wi-Fi repeater? Okay, now this gets a little bit complicated. Technically, you can. Now, you can daisy chain Wi-Fi extender one to another, but there is a problem. So here is what happens. The first Wi-Fi extender connects to your router. The second extender connects to the first Wi-Fi extender, but the signal is going to be absolutely terrible. Okay, so instead of just talking about it, let me show you this in action. So here is my white extender, and you'll see why I named it that way. I'm gonna make sure I'm connected to that white, five gigahertz, that's the one. I'm literally sitting next to it. Let's see what the speed I'm gonna get on that. And it is sitting at 650 megabits per second, 780 megabits per second. So, um, I mean, that's pretty obvious. I'm literally next to it. That's the kind of speed I expect to get. Now. The big question is what's gonna happen when I add a second extender and connect that second extender to the first one? Am I still gonna retain that 780 megabits per second speed? This is what we're about to find out. So let me plug it in and take you over there. Right, I've plugged it in, it's now powered on. Let's take the phone literally next to it. So before we connect to the black extender, I'm gonna see what the speed is, 468 megabits per second. Fine, and we're still connected to the white one. Let's just double check, make sure we're not cheating here. It is at five, all right, good. White, five gigahertz. Right, let's connect to the rock space. Look at the signals. See how it went from blue to this orange reddish color? That means it's already getting a weak signal. So what is that gonna to translate to? Well, black extender, five gig, I'm connected to that. What's the speed gonna be? Let's see. 130 megabits per second. So the first extender is the white one, the second extender is the black one. Black is connecting to white, and look at that signal reduction. So technically, can they connect to each other? Yes, they can. Now, of course, there is a disclaimer here. It does depend on the configuration of your house, how far the signal is boosted. So every situation will be different. Would I recommend using this to stream or even web browsing? Absolutely not. That I would recommend a Wi-Fi mesh system. And speaking of mesh, the next question is question number four. Can you mix a mesh Wi-Fi system with a non-mesh Wi-Fi extender? So in my home, I have a mesh Wi-Fi system and several normal Wi-Fi extenders and they work off that mesh system absolutely perfectly fine. So yes, you can do that as well. Now, of course, the right way to extend a mesh Wi-Fi is just simply adding another node onto that mesh network. Question number five, can you use Wi-Fi 6 devices with Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 2.4 extenders? So if you're in the market right now for a new Wi-Fi router, make sure that it has Wi-Fi 6 built in. And yes, of course, all your 2.4 and 5 devices will absolutely work with Wi-Fi 6. Now, if you have Wi-Fi 6 Wi-Fi network and you have some of these uh, extenders lying around, then yes, they do actually work with the Wi-Fi 6. So, of course, go ahead and set them up. 
Now, if you want more information on Wi-Fi 6, check out this video right over here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in that video or this video down here, whichever, both videos. I'll see you in both. Let's go.